Hey everybody, I just want to let you know that I'm super glad to be back on trail and glad that all you guys are watching me. What's up guys, I am Michael McAnally and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year, we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you're enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. All right, it's 6 a.m. We are leaving the shelter right now. It was raining all night long, but as soon as we got our stuff ready to go, it kind of stopped, so that's awesome. And we are 18 miles into Hot Springs today. I wanted to get an early start. I'm going to get a few miles out of the way before the sun comes up. Should be a fantastic day. Get to see Kara tonight, which is going to be awesome. So, all right, we're going to get these get this day started. Leo's leading the way in the dark. Man, I really hope you guys enjoyed that footage of Max Patch yesterday. I had my my wireless mic on with a little fuzzy, so you couldn't hear the the way that the wind was it was absolutely crazy it was literally blowing us sideways up there as, as strong as it was so it was but it was fantastic to be standing alone at the top of that place and have it all to myself right before the end of the day it was absolutely amazing but so it was it was long footage but i want to share the entire experience with you Either way, it's uh, about 7.30. We've got a few miles under our belt. Um, about 15 miles more into Hot Springs. The sun is out. I've already shed all my layers. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Yes, this is what we're dealing with this morning. Another shelter here. Just taking a little privy break. Ooh, this one's rough. Rough, 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 I tell you. Eleven miles to go. I had to switch off from my pants back into my shorts. I was wearing pants up until yesterday and I put shorts on. And it was absolutely so much easier to regulate my body temperature in shorts. Because that's what I'm used to on a daily basis. So I got the shorts back on again. Which is nice. When I get into hot springs, I got a, a buddy that I met on the Florida Trail. Caboose. Uh, trail named Caboose. His uh, name is Brian. Um, he was walking down the street in Florida. I recognize hiker gear 
anywhere so i stopped and chit chatted with him he was doing the florida trail i guess he's finished up with it and he's in hot springs right now so he wants to go grab something to eat and i got time to kill until my wife gets there so we're gonna grab something to eat in hot springs and catch up see how everything went with the florida trail and see what's next up for him I just hit the 10 mile marker 10 before 10 30 that's pretty good i'd like to get in 10 before 11 o'clock but i'll take 10 30 all day long so we got eight miles left into hot springs uh, i just came up and over bluff mountain um, it was socked in by clouds so we really didn't get any views there but that's okay i was gonna stop and get some water Really didn't get any views there, so we got eight more miles to go. Um, it looks like it's opening up over here because uh, we're going to be a little bit below the clouds. When you get above the clouds like that, that's sometimes when you're socked in and you can't really see. I always stop like this when Leo's drinking because if I try to push on, then he pushes on. And so I want him to drink as much water as possible and stay nice and hydrated like I do. I have a rule of thumb, like when I stop to hydrate or when I stop to um, filter my water I chug everything that's in my bottle and then I fill up another bottle so I always chug a bottle fill a bottle so I'm drinking while I'm walking and I normally get in about six liters throughout the day so I get a pretty good amount of water so I'm staying nice and hydrated and I'll also add my water boy electrolyte mixes to my drinks to uh, replenish the, the salts and the potassium and magnesiums and all the different things in my body that I'm depleting throughout the day. It's really starting to, like I said, open up over here and become really beautiful. Let me show you guys. And we're gonna get these miles in. Hey everybody, I just want to let you know that I'm super happy, glad to be back on trail and glad that all you guys are watching me. I've had a lot of zoomies today, I've had a lot of snacks, and I've been running up and down the mountain chasing imaginary squirrels, and it's been a blast. And now we're going to go into hot springs, and we get to see mom tonight. Let's go! Man, I'm walking along this beautiful ridge. Just got mountain lines for days. Just all the way out there, you can just see all of the, the different mountains just everywhere. We're coming down into Hot Springs. Got about eight miles left. I think we might be closer to seven now, I don't know. I don't look at my map very often. I just gotta walk. But if it's a lot of it's downhill, I might actually get there uh, between one and two o'clock. So 18 miles before one or two o'clock, that'd be pretty good. I did that one day at 23 before two o'clock, or right around two o'clock. That was also, I was pretty motivated to get down there because Leo was there. So this is a little different. My wife isn't in Hot Springs, she'll be there. 
later tonight. So I'm actually going to beat her there, which will be nice because I'll be able to shower and not be stinky when she shows up. <sighs> Wash all my clothes. Go ahead and do all my chores. And I don't have to worry about doing that stuff with her. I can have it taken care of before she gets there. And she'll bring me some nice fresh clothes to wear around town. And I won't have to wear somebody's weird loner clothes. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a part of the trail. Uh, the loner clothes is a fun part of the trail. You have to pick out these like clothes so that, you know, because you guys remember, we're not, we're not carrying a lot out here. So this is like the only t-shirt that I have. I have my two base layers, which one is Merino wool. The other one's a pack, alpaca. Um, and then I have this t-shirt. And then for um, my bottoms, I have my shorts and I have my pants. And I plan on sending the pants home or ditching them at some point when it's warm enough because I just won't wear them. As a matter of fact, I didn't want to wear them today. And when I put them on, I was hot within the first few miles. So we tend to, to carry very, very little. So when you go into town and you have to wash all of your stuff, guess what? If I've only got one t-shirt and one pair of shorts, I got to have something to wear while I wash my stuff. Now I can put on my sleeping clothes, but that needs to be washed too. So you have to throw everything in the washer and essentially you wind up using what we call loner clothes. So almost every hostel or every place that caters to hikers has a set of clothing that you can put on while you wash and dry your stuff. So that's what loner clothes is and that's a part of the chores of going into town is is using loner clothes so we're going to do that when i get to laughing heart hostel is where we're going to be staying at today and then i'm going to take a zero tomorrow and rest up and eat lots and lots of yummy food and we're going to the spa tomorrow um the well the the hot spring uh spa thing the hot spring lodge we tried to get a room there but they were booked up which is understandable because it was a saturday so we're coming in hot springs i'm gonna have eat with my friend and we're gonna get the rest of these miles in i'll give you guys some updates as i go along This is the best water fountain ever. Mountain water tastes so good. All right, guys, we are stopped for lunch. And a lot of you guys have asked what Leo's been eating. So I wanted to show you guys what his bowl looks like and how his food is rehydrating right now. So that is a bowl of food that he eats. And it is dehydrated food. And it is real chicken, beef broth, it's got peas, carrots, sweet potatoes, and um, lots and lots of healthy, yummy calories. So <clears throat> that's what he eats. It does take about 10 to 15 minutes to, to hydrate. So I have to stop and, and do this like once a day. And then I also feed him at the end of the day. Now, at the beginning of the day, he starts off with some dehydrated beef liver, lamb liver snacks that there's about 4,000 calories per bag. I give him those throughout the day. He also eats dried chicken jerky and try, dried beef liver jerky or anything like that that will also add extra protein in, in, into his diet. So I'm also going to show you guys what I eat for lunch because I know you guys have been a little interested about that. All right, so I started this a couple hours ago um, at a stopped water source. And this is my cold soaking jar. See, so I take this jar right here and I, I, I put my ramen in it. And um, then I fill it up with water. And then while I'm walking, the, the ramen hydrates. And this is just as good as cooked ramen to me. It doesn't taste much different. The only difference being is it's cold and it's not warm. So I take this out at lunch. I add in my flavor packet and um, drain out the juice because I don't like a lot of juice in my ramen. And then that's what I eat for lunch. That I also eat two uh, packets of tuna creations or chicken creations or whatever my wife has sent me. And then um, I eat four bars throughout the day while I'm walking. So we're going to stop and we're going to finish our lunch break. And then we're going to get back on trail and get into hot springs. All right, we are a little less than five miles from Hot Springs. Whew, that's attacking me. Oh, it's just a cable. <laughs> My backpack is attacking me. All right, so I think the rest of this should be all downhill. 
So it should go pretty fast. Starting to get a little drizzle of rain. That's okay. I gotta stop putting rain gear on. I'm fine with that. I didn't try to go too fast today knowing that I'm going in to relax a little bit and, and have a zero day and let my body recover a little bit, which is gonna be amazing. But guys, this is gonna be, this has been the absolute adventure of a lifetime. I don't know if all of you guys know, I have a lot of new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this video, please click that button. That's the least you can do is just, just subscribe, like the video. The comments fuel me, feed me, so keep me, keep me motivated and moving. But back to what I was saying. This is an adventure of an absolute lifetime. I turn 50 years old this year. I will be out here on this trail when it happens. And I don't know. It, it just it fuels me it it it, re, it invigorates me it it just feeds me in a way that i never thought i could be fed as far as energy and excitement for adventure every single day i have such an amazing wife such an amazing wife that is supportive and loving and caring and and does anything and everything she can to support me and that is crucial to being out here and being able to do this. And I'm so thankful, so thankful. You see that view? You see, I just get to walk along with that. Just, just look to my left and go, man, how beautiful. Every now and then I need to look where I'm going so I don't fall off the mountain. I have fallen once today. I've fallen a few times this trip, but and that happens. You just gotta be careful. It's normally trying to overcome an obstacle, like skirt over a, this time I was trying to go around a big old giant tree. I didn't want to hug the tree and climb over it. So I tried to walk around it. Well, walking around it mean I had to go downhill. And since it rained for like 12 hours <coughs> last night, uh, it was pretty muddy. And I slid and boom, everything fell. That's okay. I'm good. The falls aren't big falls. Making our final descent into hot springs about one mile out. Uh, everything as far as the forest goes changes because you're starting to drop elevation again. A lot more green when you're higher up. It's a lot more brown. We got pine needles and stuff on the ground here. But I'm interesting to see. I'm interested to see hot springs because I've never seen it before. And it's one of those little towns where everything's walkable. So you're able to walk everywhere you go. We are about to get our first looks of Hot Springs, North Carolina, here from the mountain as we're coming down. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here from the mountain because it's kind of always cool to see what it's like from above.
All right, that's hot springs. Now I'm gonna get down here. I'm gonna find my hostel and get checked in and get clean. <laughs> All right, we made it here to Laughing Heart Lodge and Hostel. They have a lodge and then they have a hostel. Um, the hostel, obviously, for, for your hikers. And the lodge is like for what me and my wife need, like a little private room and everything. Beautiful little place. Um, this is the lodge part, right? There's a koi pond out here. Beautiful koi pond. The, the water coming right down out of the mountain. Um, that's the hostel portion over there which we're gonna go look around here in a little bit. Um, and they even have a, a chapel, I guess, for, uh, for for weddings and stuff or for venues. So anyway, we're gonna go get checked in here and check out the room and start to get clean and then go get some food. Beautiful place. All right, look at this view. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, got up with Brian Caboose, hey, hey. trail name, and uh, we're heading down to the Spring Creek Tavern here downtown in uh, downtown Hot Springs. Show it to you guys when we get there, get some good food. I got the Philly. These boys got the <laughs> buffalo like, right, sandwich. Right, right, right. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> All right, chow time. All right, guys, here is the process of picking some laundry clothes. So when you come to do your laundry, you come in here, find something to wear, and so that way you can get everything that you need in the wash. All right, guys. That's gonna end the day for us as I sit here in my loner clothes while the laundry's getting done. And <clears throat> went to the Dollar General and I got me a, a brush for Leo. So I'm gonna get him brushed out here, sitting down by the campfire at Laughing Heart Lodge. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Leo loves getting his brush done. So we're gonna end it here. You guys have a good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.